What is going on guys, this is Daniel, and today we'll be taking a look at how the Heat used the offensive set Horns in Game 5 against the Pacers, so let's get to it. Horns is an offensive set where there's two big men at the high post, two wings in the corner, and the ball is at top with the point guard. Here the Heat run the flex action out of Horns, which is initiated by a point guard the high post pass. Then Wade will have the option of using Chalmers cross screen or Lewis's down screen, and here he uses Lewis's down screen. And the reason I'm not a huge fan of flex is because it often leads to long contested twos, which is what Wade gets here when he doesn't curl it to the basket. You can also execute a screen and roll out of this set, which is what Chalmers does here. And he gets the switch with Hibbert on him, but he foolishly doesn't attack immediately, which lets the Pacers switch back. No matter, as they flow into another screen and roll with LeBron, and when David West hedges, Hibbert has to come over to guard Lewis, who's the roll man, which leaves his man Bosch wide open in the corner for a corner three. I'm not a big fan of hedging in most scenarios. What usually happens on these pick and rolls is the screener Bosch would roll to the basket while the opposite high post would come to the top, but this is completely legitimate to have it switch. What is not fine is Bosch taking a long two instead of a three. Now I love this, this is called a flare pick and roll, where the screener LeBron will first screen and then receive a flare screen from the opposite big man, and look how out of position George is because he has to hedge, but instead of LeBron taking a 3 or attacking Hibbert, he settles for the 1 dribble pull up long inefficient 2. They run the same play for Allen, and unless you switch this, Allen is going to be open every single time because George has to hedge and Hibbert is way too slow to get out, and Allen knows what to do as he hits a 3. Here LeBron should be screening away, but instead he comes back for the ball, but watch Mario Chalmers top left of your screen, and this is why I'm not a huge fan of the Heat offense, because he just stands there the whole possession, and they're lucky to get bailed out by a foul. And here they're about to go into flex action, but LeBron loses the ball. Same thing we saw earlier out of the horn screen and roll when Bosch takes an inefficient long two. Here Miami runs the same flare screen action we saw earlier, but sometimes it just comes down to how poorly some of these screens are set, that stalls the offense, and their lucky Wade makes a very difficult shot. Off the screen and roll to get a switch again, but why? Why would Lewis throw a bounce pass to Bosch posting up in the post when he has a 7 inch advantage on George Hill? Like earlier, Wade has some flex action where he can choose the cross screen or choose that down screen. Here he chooses the down screen and here he curls it to the basket which forces Hibber who's guarding Haslam to help and that frees up Haslam for a layup. Beautiful. Again, they run flex, and while they're about to set up some beautiful screens for Ray Allen, Michael Beasley decides it's his turn to go isolation, and he misses at the rim. Well, there you have it, guys. I like horns because it gives the offense a lot of options, and it's good spacing, but you can see how at times it can also tempt players into taking bad shots. Well, thanks for watching, and see you next time.